These two were both completely busted, so I'll give you a demonstration as to why we need to change it out. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are talking about this awesome trailer today. It actually wasn't so awesome. It was wrecked, super damaged, and now has turned into a beautiful home. This is a Forest River Wildwood X Lite. It's about 24 feet. It can weigh up to about 8,000 pounds, but it's lighter than that normally. We get lots of questions about what kind of trailer should we get? We've lived in a class eight. We now live in a fifth wheel. And as you guys have been following along, you know that we were hosts for the Camping World virtual tour where we showed hundreds of different RVs, motor class C's and A's and fifth wheels and all the trailers you can possibly imagine. One size doesn't fit all. In fact, it's hard for us to answer that question to people because it totally depends on you and your style and what you want for your family or your friends. So we're excited to show you this trailer because it might totally fit for you or you might see things you like. And we wanna show you mostly how a little really does go a long way. This is the master bedroom. It doesn't look big, but it does this job, you guys. First thing I wanna point out, the doors, the cabinets, the shelving, the color of it was used to work with the rest of the RV. You don't have to paint everything, especially when it's already in good condition and it's beautiful. This is some red brick paneling from Home Depot that was actually painted white. And you'll see this throughout the trailer. It really adds a nice touch to the room. Blankets are from Amazon. Pillows are from Wayfair and Amazon and I think Costco. Moving on to the window here. The blinds were taken off and that, it's always nice when you take them off because the clunkiness is just like. So the blinds right here, homemade. This is actually drop cloth from Home Depot and it's rolled up inside of it. It's just a weighted piece of wood. And then this is just thick vinyl from Joann's. So undo it, you just gotta pull it. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. It's nice and weighted down, it's not gonna move. And then when you're done, you just roll it back up nice and fast. Not a big deal. That's the thing, you can do something so simple, but something different. This was just from TJ Maxx. This space right here used to have a TV in it and now it's just a beautiful space. When you get a trailer, you don't wanna add too much heaviness because it does weigh the trailer down. It's light enough, but it's durable enough for the road. So now let me explain. This framed art right here, it's just two pieces of wood nailed together with a print inside of it. And then it's just Velcroed on the back. It'll stick and stay when you guys are on the road. And then this actually was from Ikea, the shelf right here for a countertop. And it works great. Now we're gonna move on to the dining room. I like how it has to take just one step to get there. These, you guys, are actually shower curtains. It was one shower curtain panel and then cut into two and then sewed. The pillows are actually from Wayfair. The trick about pillows, you can usually buy pillow coverings without the actual whole pillow. So if you have pillows that still need to be used from home. This is actually also from Ikea. Just add it on for a nice touch, some nice fake plants. Now, if you are a plant mom and you can keep plants alive, go for a real plant, it doesn't hurt. Um, I'm not great at it, so <laughs> plant it is. Do you remember, you guys, we had a, we had a, we thought it was a fake plant. You remember that little plant in our class A? We, we left for like a couple weeks to go to do family thing. When we came back, it was totally dried up and dead. We totally thought it was fake, but it wasn't. So this was actually ordered from Etsy, and I think it came from Turkey, and it looks beautiful, and it totally fits the RV. Kitchen, you guys. Counter stay the same, again, the shelves stay the same, except for this. This is called caning, and this was just sprayed on with adhesive spray, and it looks great. Nice little touch. We got that brick paneling again, and then this is actually a new faucet from Amazon and it was less than a hundred bucks. Now this wasn't the wreck part of the RV, you guys. All that wreckage and all that damage that happened was actually behind me. Well, let's talk about that. What's going on, Bryce? What's up, dude? I'm so glad you picked up. We are actually giving a tour of the Forest River Wildwood that you and Renee renovated. Okay, so Sean and Renee, they fix and flip RVs. And this one that they found, bought it sight unseen just with photos. And then when you picked it up, saw the damage. Once I actually got there to pick it up, there was way more damage than what the picture showed. As soon as I went inside, I pulled the curtain back and was like blown away that they did not disclose that information. The whole the whole roof was blown in from the inside, went outside, climbed up on the ladder, and it was pretty clear and obvious that a tree has fallen on the roof of that, that uh, tree. <laughs> was the bathroom pretty bad? The shower head completely the one wall so the way it pushed down it pushed the one wall and it, it had to get yeah. somewhere so the wall actually busted out into the shower i had to replace the skylight the roofing well, you guys did a good job 
We love it. Flipping Tilbies. Check them out on Instagram. In fact, what are we doing with the Flipping Tilbies? We have a big project that we're working on with them of a future fifth wheel. Maybe ours. It's coming up in a video. Right on, man. Okay, so just a final let you guys know. We know people want to know where things are. These shelves came from Amazon. Again, this is the red brick wall from Home Depot, painted white. These tiles, this, these actually are not tiles, because again, you want to keep it light. That's Dumo. It's what? Dumo? Yeah, it's Dumo. Dumo wall, PVC tile, so it's super lightweight and flexible and adhesive to constructive glue. So when you are redoing a bathroom, it's actually nice to do this stuff because tile is actually really heavy. Well, every time we see someone renovate a bus, it's super cute and cool and whatever to do tile, but I'm just like, is that's on the road? The grout's gonna yeah. crack, it's heavy. This is fine. This can flex and move exactly. with it. I love this, by the way. That you got it off Amazon. And this it's, is it's, one. it's for an RV, so it does turn on and off. Yeah, it's got that switch here to turn off the water. This is a perfect tub for our girls. Or a small dog. Or a small dog. We're looking at RV models, and we almost got one just because of the tub in the bathroom, but we didn't. We're gonna show you which one we got soon. This is all the same here, except, except for the new faucet, faucet, which is from, I think, Amazon. Very nice. And there you have it. We wanted to make a video about this because you don't have to go super big. If you're not gonna be full timing it, especially you can go smaller. It's less than 30 feet as we talked about, less than 8,000 pounds. And even if you have a bigger family, like you can sleep two kids here, you can sleep two kids here, maybe even more, right? I mean, they could bunk up. Then you got a bed in the right there too. So a whole family can use this. And if you're not full timing, this can be perfect. And if you have an excursion, suburban or a truck or whatever, you can still tow this. It's less than 8,000 pounds. So anything that can tow that. Just kind of want to open your eyes to options of what's possible. And again, to show you like now I mentioned, a little bit goes a long way. Hey Bryce, why do we have this trailer? Yeah, why do we have this trailer? Nancy! Cause it's mine. <laughs> okay, but here's a difficult situation. This doesn't have a name. Have you That's named right. it yet? I have not named her. Whatever you guys think the name should be, drop it down below, and whichever name gets the most likes, that's gonna be the name. Is that, that is that good. legit? Oh, sounds good. Does nobody like put something down? <laughs> yeah. We just have to do it. Whatever gets the most likes. In fact, we're actually camping now. Oh, what? So buy an RV, let us know what you do, and we'll see you guys next time. Before you click off this video, I wanna talk about something really important, guys. A big question that we often get, in addition to what type of rig is best, how to afford, full-time travel RVing or traveling more with your family and loved ones. Now, we're not the biggest geniuses and gurus, but it is something that we figured out and we've done over the last four years to where we could work from wherever so that we could afford this type of lifestyle traveling in an RV or internationally or whatever. A couple years ago, we did a video talking about the platform called Skillshare. It's in a video titled, How We Make Money on the Road. Okay, I'll link that here. One of the reasons we've talked about Skillshare over the last few years on our channel is it's an online community with thousands of classes. Even if you don't know what you wanna learn, just going to Skillshare and looking at it, you'll be inspired of something that, a passion that you might have or something you're curious about and learn more about it and develop a skill in that area to then start offering your services and making money. Photography classes, product design, web development, music, illustration, so many things where people need those services and they would rather pay someone to do it. And so if you know how to do those things, you can offer those services and charge people and, and give them the digital products or services that they need to where you can fund this lifestyle to travel wherever. But if you don't know how to do those things, then you should go check out Skillshare and look and see what is something that I actually would care about. Okay, I care about that. And then learn from a very talented person who actually does that, apply it to yourself, and then you can go and take a course on how to market yourself and how to build a website and then how to get clients. All of a sudden you've created this online business. For example. Hi everybody, I am Tracy Wallace, the editor-in-chief at Big Commerce and founder of Door Sleep. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to start an online business. What? That's what I'm talking about. Right here you got Tracy Wallace teaching you how to start a successful online business. So by learning that and applying it, you can then fund this travel lifestyle as well. The first thousand people that click on the link below get premium membership so you can explore all that Skillshare has to offer and explore your passions and see how can I make some dough to travel on the road and meet up with the jerkies. You're a hot mess is what you are. <laughs> Looks like you were eating some dirt. Indy, Indy.